Hello, everybody. I'm a kind of nerdy housewife, and today for you, I will be playing Squidlet. This is a super cute, super cozy indie platforming game and a loving homage to the original Game Boy. Uh, thanks to your many generous donations, we have unlocked the Befriend All Squids incentive. Um, there is a hidden mechanic in this game. If you press a certain button, you do this cute little adorable dance. And if you do that near other squidlets, they will dance back at you. Uh, I talked to the developer on Twitter, and this is how squidlets show friendship and affection. Um, so we're going to be befriending all the squidlets. Now the game starts in Blipston, which is the squidlet village. So we're going to be befriending a lot of people right away. But I'm going to be doing the rest of my talking during the run. So let's get started in three, two, one, go. And this wizard is our friend. And the mayor is our friend. And the doctor is our friend. And the baker is our friend. And also we're gonna pick up our muffins while we're here. We have a friend in a hole. Maybe that's the Canadian friend. Here's our underground friend. Here's our mushroom friend. We have a musical friend, a musical friend, a musical friend. Here's tree daughter friend. This friend has a very cool hat. The city guard is our friend. And right out here we have our adventurer friend. Okay, that's all the friends for a while, so now I can actually explain the game. Um, we are Plip, and we have been given a quest by the Squizzard. There is a very spooky castle over yonder, and if you've ever played a video game, then you know that all sorts of nefarious things happen at spooky castles, so we're uh, definitely going to have to go check that out. Uh, the controls for this game are very simple. I can move left and right with the directional pad, and I can jump, and I can double jump. Whenever I double jump, I will squirt a projectile of ink directly below me, and that is my primary means of defending myself. Um, at the top of my screen, you will see three muffins. That is my health bar. Uh, mo all en uh, most enemies do half a muffin of damage, though the final boss will do a full muffin of damage. And we're gonna come up on a few more friends here. Up here, we're gonna have our hardcore friend. You're gonna have to buy the game and read the dialogue to know why this is our hardcore friend. And then right before we leave here, we're gonna have our Squirchant friend. That's a Squidlet merchant. Oh no, no, I gotta get Tree Mom. We have to climb the trees. Tree Mom friend. That's the mom of tree daughter friend. And then at the end of the screen, we will have our Squirchant friend. Squirchant friend. And now we have to do a little quest. So we have this farmer here and this farmer is having a problem. There are all sorts of pests eating his crops and uh, without crops, there are no snacks and we must save the snacks. So we are going to defeat all of these snails and sharker pillars. That's shark caterpillars. This game is kind of goes well with the last run with all the, the silly names, I think. And uh, as a bonus, the farmer, if we destroy these pests, not only will we save the crops, we will also get to ride uh, his hovercraft to the spooky castle so we don't have to walk all the way there so that's a huge bonus we got one more sharker pillar down here um, however along the way we will encounter our first boss which is the sharker fly that is the shark butterfly one cool thing about this game is all the bosses have developer intended quick kills the quick kill for the sharker fly is just to get up in its face and fire ink as quickly as possible and there we go so we have reached the spooky castle. Now we must use our wits to select the second dialogue option. You would not believe how many runs I've lost to selecting the first dialogue option. And we're in. 
So very shortly, we will learn that this castle is owned by a giant moth named Squit Squat, and Squit Squat does indeed have a nefarious plan. She is going to brew a potion that will make it night forever. And I'm sure Eternal Night is great for a giant moth, um, but once again, without the sun, the crops will wither and die. And uh, without the crops, there are no snacks, so we must save the snacks. We're gonna say hi to our thief friend. I'm guessing he was stealing office supplies. And we're gonna free Artemis. This is Artemis. She is a disgruntled employee of Squid Squat. Uh, oh my gosh, I, I did the owl. I did the Wind Waker of Link's Awakening Owl, y'all. Um, anyway, Artemis is gonna be like, you know, my boss, Squid Squat, I think she's taking this whole eternal night thing way too far. Um, so we're going, or I'm going to help you put a stop to that. So Artemis tells us about a book in the Castletown Library, and this book will tell us how to stop Squid Squat's eternal night plan. Uh, so that's that's what we gotta do right now. We gotta get to Castletown, which is the town in the castle, and we have to find the book in the library. But first, we're gonna say hi to our last friend. This is River Jack. Check out his wall chicken. He's a Castlevania fan. And before that happens, we'll fight our second boss as well. Hoip, hoip, over the ghosts. Oh. Let's see if I can get the jump. This is the jump of the run. Can I make it over the ghost? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, the quick kill for the second boss is to simply wait until it takes eight steps. Then we shoot ink directly into its chimney and that will interrupt its little fireball attack, which will make the fight go much faster. So enjoy approximately three seconds of nighttime sounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ink in the, oh, I missed. Ink in the chimney. That's okay, that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ink in the chimney, that's how it's supposed to be done. A little faster this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're out of here. Welcome to Castletown. This is the town in the castle. It's filled with NPCs that have very cute and or funny dialogue, but we are speedrunners, so we are going directly to the library. At the bottom of the library stairs, we will meet the librarian, and the librarian's like, yeah, I'll give you the book you need, but first you have to do me a favor. There are seven books in the library that have become a little bit unruly, and we need to ink them to call them, calm them down. So, uh, Cubs rule, uh, while I am hunting down books, can uh, if there's any announcements, please take it over. Well, we'd just like to mention that uh, if you're wanting to uh, donate for the name, the human incentive for, or bid war for Undertale, uh, this is your last chance. Uh, we will be close, that run is next, so that will be closing shortly. Uh, there's also the bid war for whether or not we hug Azrael at the end of the run. And then the bid wars for the Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise race uh, for the Harp Song and the Customs Rome Sprite. Those are all open, and feel, uh, feel free to snipe those as you please. We got one more book down here. I recommend the Zeroma Sprite. Scully Kitty does good work. It's always fun to see a new Zeroma Sprite. Uh, I, I have, may have run a free enterprise once or twice in my time. Okay, last book, if I didn't miss one. When I ran this for, for a different marathon, I missed a book and had to do the whole thing over again. Okay, ah, the key sound means we did it. Okay, the librarian has led us into the archive and uh, the book we want is in here. But the problem is uh, it might be slightly possessed right now and it is going to serve as our next boss. It is the Grim War. See, it's, it's a portmanteau of grimoire and war. I thought it was cute. Um, this boss is my favorite boss and it has a really cool mechanic. So the idea is a book only knows what's inside of it. And the boss knows four attacks, and each of those attacks is associated with a definition inside the book. 
Um, so what we have to do here is we have to predict which attack the boss is going to do. And then we have to uh, black that attack out of the book. And then the book won't know how to do it. And then it will interrupt the attack. So let's see what we get here first. We're getting the wand that's over here. And attack interrupted. That is the bomb attack. Oh, I barely made that. Attack interrupted. It's the bees. Bees interrupted. And then all we have left is the sword, which is over here. And then it's now forgotten all of its attacks, so it's just gonna get angry and dive bomb us for a little bit. And a few more drops of ink and we'll be out of here. When I beat this boss, I'm going to land on the right side of the screen because that's where the door spawns after this cutscene. And in this cutscene, Artemis reads the book for us and tells us that the way to stop Squid Squat's nefarious plan is by putting ink in her potion. And that is super convenient because we are a squidlet. We are filled with ink. Okay, this guard is easier because I select the first dialogue option. And we're in. This is the laboratory. This is my favorite level of the game. Um, the primary mechanic of this level is baiting enemies to chase you and then having them hold down buttons for you. The first example of that will be once I get to the top here. Mm, chase me. Chase me. Mm, thank you. So that kind of gives you a, a idea of what we're going to be doing here. Oh, I did not. If you, go, if you go really quickly, you can make all three of these in one cycle. I rarely do it. And then once we jump over these dragoons, two. Uh, I'm taking the safety muffin. It's a marathon. Whoop. We're going to go chase me. Chase me. Chase me all the way down here. And thank you. Then we're going to get this guy and be like, chase me again. No, I said chase me again. Thank you. Okay, and we're almost to the final boss. I'm going to play it safe on these. And this is Squid Squat. To defeat Squid Squat, we are going to drop down. Drop down, jump over this guy, jump back up, do a little U-turn, and ink in the potion. Then we're going to bait Squid Squat to this edge, drop down, drop down again, jump back up, another little U-turn, ink in the potion, and then damage boost, ink in the potion, and finally, wait, damage boost, ink in the potion, and we have done it, we have defeated Squid Squat, but as an unintended side effect, we have created a black inky rain. It's getting everywhere, it's getting in everyone's eyes, it's making a mess. Um, so we have the, the, the hug Asriel incentive. I think we should hug Squid Squat and apologize for the big mess. And time, that's it, that's Squidlet. It is a super cute, super cozy game. I highly recommend it. It's available both on Steam and on Switch. And there is a sequel called Super Squidlet, which is a Game Boy Color homage. I highly recommend both games. Uh, thanks to Midwest Speed Fest for having me. It was super fun. Keep, do keep on donating. Uh, keep on watching the marathon. I will be back tomorrow on the hosting booth. Um, so I won't say my final goodbyes until then. But thanks for watching. That's it for me.